What's, What's happening, happening people? people? Welcome to another Can TV video. Today, I don't know if it's going to be a banger because we're basically just filling you guys in on what's been happening on the past couple days and why we haven't posted because we did make a commitment in posting, you know, all month long because of Vlogmas and um, unfortunately, life had other plans. <laughs> um it's, it's been a rough couple of days, y'all. Yeah, you know, sometimes you want you plan to do th certain things and, you know, life just slaps you it with, takes a different course yeah and and you know that that's you got to be aware of that when you plan things that it's not always going to go according to what you wanted it to so um we're just going to take the time to explain what happened and why we've been gone like two days ago i was in a car accident um obviously i'm okay i'm well i'm alive the most i feel is like a little soreness here and there but nothing too crazy i can bear it i never told you guys but you know, we live in the basement of my parents' house. So we share one vehicle for everyone in the house. The only people that work outside of here is literally Chris and my mom. And I do Instacart, but I haven't been doing it since Vlogmas, to be honest. I've, I've been home for the most part, and my dad works from home. So uh, since I'm free, you know, I've been taking Chris and my mom to work. And Chris works the earliest. He works at 7 a.m. I get up around 5.30. He gets up earlier. And I take him to work. It's about like 35, 40 minutes. I come back and by the time I come back, my mom's ready to go to work and then I take her. I take those trips. Uh, I never really minded that because, you know, I'm, I'm willing to help. I'm available. So why not? Right. So this month I haven't really been taking care of myself in terms of sleep and rest. So I, the day that this happened, I did stay up really late um, to finish certain things. And that kind of bit me in the ass. Um, that day I uh, went to take Chris early in the morning and then so I, I was fine you know I, I I woke up and I was awake we were talking in the car you know I wasn't really sleepy or anything like that so I, I was fine I came back took my mom same thing we were having conversations in the car I'm good you know I'm not feeling any type of way I'm good so then when I drop my mom off I'm driving back to our city and I'm fine because I'm, I'm, as I'm driving back, I'm good. Like, I'm not feeling anything. But as I start to approach our city, I start to feel a little sleepy. Like, and it got to the point where I started to doze off a little bit. But unfortunately, this is sad that I have to say this, but this has happened to me before where I've dozed off while driving. But because I was thinking like, oh, like, I've, I've done this before, nothing's going to happen. I kept driving and I was only like five minutes away from the house, but I was uh, driving and I dozed off for like a split second and I ended up losing control of the car and luckily no one was there, thank God no one was there, nobody was hurt. Uh, there was a parked car that I kind of was approached, that I approached after like I woke up and realized that I was, you know, about to hit it and I turned. And then I hit a fence and then the car just stopped. And luckily, like I said, no one was there. No one was in the car. The car was parked. Um, I just was so in shock from what just happened. Like, I couldn't believe in myself. So the first person I texted was him. I didn't even call him. I just texted him. Um, I just texted him like, oh, I messed up. I did some bullshit. My parents are going to disown me. You, know you were I mean? very reactive. Yeah, like, I was. I was. Yeah, and that's how I knew it was like, because at first I thought it was a joke. I thought she was pranking me for y'all. That's what I thought it was. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go home. The car's gonna be there. She's not. She's not doing that right now. But as you know, it's it's a certain level of like urgency that you can sense from when you're with a person long enough. Yeah. And from the way that you was texting me, I was like, yeah, she's not bullshit. Like, no, it was it was for real. Was I was serious. just I was just texting, texting, texting. And but the things you were saying, it was just like, okay, yeah, you know. This incident happened and things are going to change and and that's what happens with life but we we're yeah. not going to abandon you i feel like that's what we all basically have come together and yeah. spoke about like it's like just, it, it, it happened and that's okay you're here you're still here with us and we can talk and we can I know but it was you. it that's was more just important. it was because i'm sorry that I, right i'm sorry i'm interrupting you no, it's but, fine. but it's because you know when you feel like you've done something and like you could have prevented it. Yeah. That's how I was feeling at the moment. And I was just so angry with myself. I was literally just 
literally guys i'm not a person that cries in front of people but that moment i was just hysterical like even the ambulance came and so they were just trying to calm me down and i was i was like shaking and i didn't even want to call my dad and like i called him and i'm, I'm like crying calling him i'm thinking he's gonna be so angry with me and the first thing he did was check if i was okay he was asking me if i was good the ambulance uh convinced me to go with them because they were like oh there's a lot of adre adrenaline rushing through your body so you're probably not feeling anything right now the car was pretty much totaled the way that i remember it, it i don't think i don't think we're gonna see that car again to be honest yeah. like i that's another thing that's making me feel like crap to be honest but um, I have been talking, you know, to everybody. I have a lot of people that care about me, so, you know, I just thank God that I have all these people that support me and, you know, are willing to just have my back, you know, like, and, and, and be able to communicate with me and, and just keep my head up because I feel like a couple of years ago, I probably would have let this really depress me, you know what I mean? So, I, I am getting older and I understand that, obviously, I have to learn my lesson. You know what I mean? I have to understand that if I if my body is responding a certain way, I got to listen to it. You know what I mean? Like I have to make better decisions and yeah, I did learn a lot. It already happened, so we got to move on from now. We just got to keep going and just I just wanted to fill you guys in. I wanted to fill you guys in so we we didn't just <clears> pop <throat> up out of nowhere like nothing happened. You know, I I want to keep it as honest like as possible. Like we didn't skip days. We know yeah. we're aware. Yeah. We were hurt. We back, baby. So like I said, I'm good. Thank God. Got little strains here and there from, you know, the, the what is it, the impact. I don't know what I just <laughs> <laughs> It's mostly just my, my neck, like in this area, and that's about it. I don't really feel anything else, which is pretty shocking. They recommended that she go to physical therapy. Yeah. So Mavis is going to start doing that also. And that's all we wanted to do for this video. Basically give you all a little story time about what happened and why we've been gone. When that happened, y'all, I was literally like, oh, you know what? I'm going to give up on everything. Oh, I'm not going to be, what am I thinking? Trying to be a YouTuber. I need to be realistic. I was just, I was literally just. Dropping everything. Yeah. I'm telling you, like, and then when my dad came to me in the hospital, he's like, what are you talking about? He was like, he was like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, if you, if you still want to do something, you believe in something, why would you drop it just like that? This is just a little hiccup, like, you know, and, and I don't know, like, you guys really did help a lot because. Because things happen. And the thing is, it's like, you know, your dad, he was a lot more sensitive and gentle with it. But I just wanted you to know, like, look, you're not the only one. We're all in this thing together. When things like this happen, yeah. you're, not, you're not the only one. You, you're not the only one that feels it. You know, I, I'm pretty sure your dad was seeing the whole situation through my eyes. We saw it the same way. Because my light flashed before my eyes hearing the story, hearing what happened. Through the few messages you sent me, I was terrified. So I could imagine your father. Yeah. So it's like, Mav is fine. Thank the heavens. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what everybody was just saying to me. Like, you know, cars are replaceable and your life isn't. And maybe this was just something to slap us in the face and maybe we just got to make a couple changes, you know. That's all. So we're just going to adjust, you know, move on and, you know, keep living, keep going, keep that's going with this YouTube stuff. Appreciate you guys for watching and listening to our story. If you really did, if you listened from the beginning to the end, make sure you drop a like on this video. And also make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because we are going to keep posting. We're not going to stop. We just had to take a little mental break, you know what I mean? Because we are human and we Things happen, you know, life happens and it happens when it wants to, not when you choose. Exactly. Preach. Make sure you guys follow us on social media too. We're going to pick back up on everything. With that being said, you're good alone. But better together. But better together is a huge thing because if I didn't have all of y'all, I don't know what would happen. But anyway. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Chris the King, Matt the Queen.